Hello, everybody, and welcome to our third Meet the Candidate interview. Today, we have Lavi Kazoulis. He is the Liberal candidate in the Halifax Citadel Sable Island riding. And coming up very shortly, we have our all candidates debate for the riding. It's happening on August 5th from about 12.30 to 2.30. So please check the link below in the description of this video and you'll be able to get all the details you need right there. So Lavi, welcome. It's very nice to see you today, sir. Uh, I'm thinking we'll just jump right into it and I'll start with the first question. So why don't you tell us a little bit uh, about yourself and why you're running for re-election in Halifax Citadel Sable Island? Perfect, no problem. Uh, my name is Lavi Kasoulis. I was actually born here in the riding, lived in it, uh, the majority of my life. I've lived in other parts of Nova Scotia and rural Nova Scotia as well. Uh, what got me involved in politics is um, helping community, making a difference. And it was an extension of a lot of the nonprofit work I had done. I had done extensive uh, nonprofit work with um, young CPAs coming into the profession as I'm a CPA myself, um, as well with um, junior achievement, um, within my own church and uh, politics was a way to get involved and to really help people out as well and that was what drew me to it and uh, made me want to run is to uh, make a difference and, and to be the voice for those who uh, who, who need help and need a, a hand up. Awesome thank you so much sir. Now the next question I've got for you is what is the most important issue to you in this election? Yeah, so for me, it's, it's you know, just helping our most vulnerable. It's been the most important issue since day one. And vulnerable can be uh, many different aspects. Right now, we have, um, due to COVID, due to the growth we've had in this province of people um, coming into it, and as well as our youth staying here because we've created so many job opportunities for them, housing's become an issue. So the reasons it's become an issue is, is good, but having it become an issue is unfortunate. So, um, you know, we've been working very hard on um, making sure that we're moving um, affordable housing forward. Uh, prior to the election, we committed $25 million to affordable housing, which was all the recommendations of an expert panel that was put together. And now during the uh, election, we've committed another $25 million annually to rebate any new buildings that are deemed affordable by CMHC guidelines. Awesome. That's perfect, sir. Thank you so much. We know, uh, especially a lot of my friends, people in this music community are definitely dealing with that issue. So it's a great answer. So uh, the next question we have for you is if given the opportunity to serve as the next MLA for Halifax and Will Sable Island and or reelected to the position, uh, what's the first thing that you would bring to the legislature to benefit the community? Yeah, so that would depend on my portfolio. But if I'm in my current portfolios, which is business, trade, and as well, uh, Minister of Finance, I would probably bring forward a bill which be, would be centered around business. And with that, it could also encompass um, our students. And as the former Minister of Labor and Advanced Education, a lot of my work was for supporting our youth, making sure they had jobs here. So you could see um, some sort of business development that would tie into uh, minorities, into our First Nations, into our youth into um, ensuring equity amongst underrepresented group, groups, whether it be women or minorities, and making sure that uh, we all have equal footing to move forward. Absolutely, sir. Thank you again. And the next question we have is, especially about students, as you know, uh, there's a lot of students in Halifax Citadel Sable Island. And uh, for all the students that are watching this event on Thursday and watching this video now, uh, what's the main thing that the Liberal Party and you along uh, with that uh, would do for students coming in the next election to make their lives easier? Well, we've been championing students since 2013. Our 2013 platform actually spoke about um, stopping the youth drain happening in the province of Nova Scotia, and that has happened. And in the last three years, we've managed to actually retain, um, we're up to now, 2,000 youth a year. And the last time we had even a positive influx of students for one single year was 1989. And at the height of it, about a decade ago, we were losing 7,000 youth a year. So that's what's also exacerbated our housing problem is youth are finding opportunities here um, with our startups, the Voltas, the Sandboxes. And so they are staying here as well. Our graduate opportunities um, 
You know, it allows our youth to walk into an to a to an employer and say, "Hire me," and the government will rebate thirty percent of my wages for two years. So all of these aspects have created, um, you know, job opportunities for our youth. We've cut youth unemployment in half. So it's, um, you know, if you look at our track record, um, you know, it's never been um, in Nova Scotia such a great opportunity to be a youth coming out of college or university. And as well, when I was Minister of uh, Advanced Education um, and I had the opportunity, we turned all Nova Scotia student loans into being fully forgivable upon graduation. So anyone who's getting a student loan right now, all they have to do is graduate and we're wiping out your Nova Scotia student loan. And, you know, and, and those are just some of the things we've done up till now, but I will continue to work to make sure that you are coming out of university and you're not spending a year looking for work, that the, um, you know, the ecosystem here is hiring you right away and making sure that you're making a good salary, a good wage and uh, launching your career as fast as possible. Absolutely, thank you again, sir. Uh, now, the fun uh, last little question that we have for you, it's very easy. Just tell us a fun fact about yourself and something that students might want to know. Well, I went to St. Mary's, did my undergraduate there in finance and in human resource management. And I also did my MBA at St. Mary's University. And um, people probably don't realize this, but, uh, you know, back in the early 90s when I was at school, I played varsity soccer there as well. Oh, no way. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. Abby. Uh, so again, thank you so much for just taking the time to answer a couple of questions for us. Again, folks, uh, this is just in preparation for our debate that's coming on Thursday, August 5th. Again, the link for that debate is below. And if we do have a segment at the end of the debate uh, where people participating in the live stream can actually ask questions directly to the candidates. Uh, so we ask, of course, that you join us on the live stream during the time of the event. So again, thank you very much. Uh, sir, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on uh, Thursday. Excellent. Sounds great.